We now live in a, in a world where we beg for our government to talk to us. I have begged for the media, or for the government of Canada to come and talk to me. There's been no response other than to freeze a bunch of people's bank accounts and to literally go into the streets right now and target citizens that have a Canadian flag on their back inside a red zone. This is not the DMZ of North Korea. This is the nation's capital. This is the Canada that we now live in, where dialogue is forsaken because the truth doesn't mind questions, but the lies do. And so the government of Canada doesn't want to talk. They don't want to be exposed for what they are. We need to know what went wrong, what caused governments to so easily trample on our rights and freedoms and cause so much harm to our people and our nation. I was a member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police for 15 years. It was a tradition that was very strong in my family. It breaks my heart to see what is happening out there right now. That law enforcement would do that to peaceful Canadians that just want our freedom back. So I would plead with law enforcement it is not too late to do the right thing. You don't have to publicly speak out. All you have to do is say no. I'm not going to do that. When you're directed to enforce unjust, un unconstitutional enforcement actions. The whole world is watching and you will rally support like you have never experienced if you stand up to this tyranny and you stand with people on the side of freedom. This is a defining moment in history for Canada and Canadian police. So I beg you, please, follow your heart, do what you know is right, and please stand with us. Amen, amen. Happiness, peace. You guys are breaking my heart. This is peace, love, and happiness. Peace! We are at peace with the protest! We are at peace with the protest! Look what you did to her! Look what you did to her!